I'm actually amazed I could do this with my gloves. Their leather is so cool. I got them at Walmart in Houston, and they were like, I don't know, $12 each. And Xavier's so got his gloves on, and he's like, way over there. So we're doing another wood gather because we're going to still be stuck at camping until probably Monday. Um, the little place that we rented is minging with mice and rat poo and um, and holes in the walls. So it's going to be a proactive campaign. So we're uh, gathering. So uh, Steve, go ahead and get in the front seat and we're going to get some bigger logs down the road. So this is our first phase. We found this section here and of course Tano National Forest had a huge fire a few years ago. And so there's a lot of still wood that breaks off and kind of rolls down the hills. And of course, Xavier spent a huge amount of time today gathering pine cones um, around our campsite, and you can see all the pine cones. So, and oh, and I see a ton of mullen over here. I am going to be totally gathering mullen later because mullen, I don't know if I can, I can. Wow. Um, a mullen. All right, we're going to just take a walk. If I fall in the ditch, someone pick me up. Oh, oh. Ah! Okay, this is mullen, a.k.a. cowboy toilet paper. I cannot focus on it. Hold on. This is mullen, a.k.a. cowboy toilet paper. And the leaves are very fluffy and stuff. And so, yeah, you could actually wipe your ass with this and it'd be great, or your bottom. Um, it's a narcotic. It also um, uh, chewed. Eh, a little bit it is effective but if you take the leaves fresh and boil them and make a tea or you take the leaves dried and make a tea and we've been drinking mullen tea I got some dried leaves because these leaves just even two weeks ago weren't around so now I'm going to turn off the ca ca camera and gather some mullen and then we're going to go on for a more wood quest bye